Hello everyone, this is Des Daskupta. Welcome you all you to Sanjan Higher Secondary Mount video classes. And today, in this very video, we are going to explore the latest rule regarding boys active and passive. In our previous two videos, we have already explored the basic rule of changing a sentence from active to passive as well as we have explored the tense voice rules. If today, in this video, we are going to learn how to change interrogative sentence from active to passive and as well as the rules of pronouns so watch the video till the end without skipping it and grab the concept as much as possible well let us start it now let's first start with pronoun it's very 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 simple just to Observe the chart given on the board. See it is active and here we got passive if there is I in active in passive voice it become me if there is me in active in passive voice it become I Okay, vice versa then if there is passive voice I it will become me a passive voice me in active voice it will become I so we as as we just do follow the chart and according to this chart, okay just while we are change why we will change the sentences from active to passive okay we'll keep learning all these things okay now see today let us first start interrogative sentence well before uh, proceeding to learn the rules of changing from active to passive a sentence that is an interrogative sentence let us first get an idea what an interrogative sentence is Okay, see when you talk about interrogative sentence, you have got two different kind of interrogative sentences. That is, type one, the sentence, the sentence begins with an auxiliary verb, and the type two, the sentence begins with a wh question word. Okay, wh question word. That is, who, what, where, when, why, how. These are called wh question word. Okay, now see. Let us first discuss about, let us first explore about sentences introduced with an auxiliary verb, okay? Say for example, uh, do you like coffee? Okay, when you say do you like coffee? Okay, now see in this very sentence, when you say do you like coffee? See so here, you is the subject. We have already learned how to find the subject, verb, object from a sentence. Like is the verb and coffee is the object. Okay, we have got subject, verb, object. You is the subject. Like is the V1. Okay, like is V1 and coffee is object. Okay, now see here you have got something extra that is do do. This is do an auxiliary verb and see auxiliary verb. There are 24 auxiliaries in English. That is, uh, am, is, are, was, where, can, could, shall, should, do, elude, may, might, must, there, is to, need to, ought to. Okay, do, does, did, have, has, had. There are 24 auxiliaries in English. So, now see here, here the very sentence begins with an auxiliary verb and, uh, and the auxiliary verb is followed by the subject okay and the sentence and with a question mark unlike the statement or affirmative assertive sentence okay first of all we got assertive sentence so say for uh, say for example if you say I like coffee or you like coffee I got a sentence you like coffee full stop c the second sentence is c you like coffee okay this in this very second sentence like is verb okay and you is the subject because we know the person or thing that is speak about in the sentence is called the subject since here we are talking about the youth this you is the subject and if you put the question the verb like what do you like you're getting the answer coffee so this coffee is the object we have got subject we've got verb we have got object so this is subject verb object so this is an assertive sentence or statement okay how do you know by the construction see statement or assertive sentence and this sentence and it full stop 
ओके नॉट ओनली एन एसर्टिव सेंटेंस एन विथ ए फुल स्टॉप एन इम्पेटिव सेंटेंस ऑल्सो एन विथ ए फुल स्टॉप एपेट फ्रॉम एन एसर्टिव सेंटेंस और एफर्मेटिव सेंटेंस एन इन इम्पारेटिव सेंटेंस ऑल्सो एन विथ ए फुल स्टॉप सो जस्ट फॉर इफ यू डिपेंड ऑन द फुल स्टॉप टू क्लासीफाई द सेंटेंस सो विल बी इन प्रॉब्लम इज इट सो वॉट विल डू ओल सी द सेंस you like coffee see when you say you like coffee in this very sentence okay this this very sentence uh, is an statement this very sentence is statement this very sentence narrate something or assert something okay it's describe something about someone or some about somebody or something okay so this kind of sentences are called this is state something it assert something this kind of sentences are called statement and see construction is see first subject then verb then object this is assertive or statement and so construction is what subject then verb then object but the same sentence if you make a question okay do you like coffee then what you do since here it is verb 1 okay if the verb is verb 1 v1 so that time we take the help of do to make a question and if it is v2 then we if it was if it was liked then we would take the help of did okay so we will make a question do you like coffee okay do you like coffee and in place of full stop we'll put a question mark to make a question now see why this do from where we have we got this do since the here the main here our verb main verb is it is v1 that is present mood present form okay since the main verb is in present form we have got three from a verb present form past form past participle form since the main verb is in present form or v1 or we can say first form since it is v1 so we have written here do that okay so in order to make interrogative sentence okay in order to make interrogative sentence okay we take the help of do does did we take the help of do does did if there is no auxiliary verb in the sentence if there is any helping verb in the sentence if there is any helping verb in the sentence then then we no need to take the help of do does did say for in example if i say uh, uh I'm a boy. I'm a boy. Okay. When I say I'm a boy, so in this very sentence, see, we have got I am a boy. This am is an. Though here I am is uh, what called not helping verb. Here am is the main verb. Okay. But though am is main verb, but here am actually am is an auxiliary. You know, am is our watcher can could is our auxiliary. so this kind of sentence is very simple just bring the am at the very beginning of the sentence pick up the am and write it at the very beginning of the sentence and rest the sentence right as it is am i a boy and replace the full stop with a question mark am i a boy am i a boy this is interrogative suppose the boys are playing football the boys are playing See the boys are playing. Okay, so say the boys are playing. Now see in this very sentence, if we want to turn into interrogative, it's very simple. Since we have got here an auxiliary R, R is the helping verb, auxiliary verb. So just pick up the R and write the R at the very beginning of the sentence. So R and rest the sentence right as it is without any changing. R the boys. Playing, okay, and then replace the full stop with a question mark. So this is the interrogative form. I think you all know all these things. So I don't want our more deeper. Uh, apart from that, we are not learning how to change from uh, assertive to interrogative or imperative in this very class. We are learning boy change, but for no for exploring how to change a sentence in active. of uh, and send us in interrogative or imperative from active to passive we should have the little knowledge basic of this so just i have introduced it okay now see in this very sentence you like coffee since see i am a boy here we have got an auxiliary 
okay the boys are playing football here we've got an auxiliary so since here m is there r is there so as we no need to take the help of do does did suppose uh, if i have done the work i have done the work or see how okay they have done the work say they have done the work okay here done is the main verb and this have is the helping verb have is the helping verb since you've got a helping verb here have so in this sentence it's very simple so just bring the have have they done the work have they done the work and for the question mark so what have we learned from going through all these sentences see we have learned if there is an auxiliary in a sentence or if there is any helping verb in a sentence okay so to turn it interrogative it's very simple what you have to do just speak up the auxiliary and write the auxiliary at the very beginning of the sentence and let the rest sentence remain same okay we don't need to make any change just what you have to see i am a boy what you have done just you have pick up the am and you have written the am at the very beginning of the sentence and rest i is i a boy remains same and then you you put the question mark then it become interrogative sentence am i a boy very simple but if there is no auxiliary verb in a sentence then it becomes a little complicated in that case in order to change from assertive to interrogative we should take the help of verb do okay do does did if the sentence is in present tense we take the help of either do or does and if it is in past tense we take the help of did okay see you uh, in the first sentence what you got you like coffee since you is second person so here like but in the third sentence see c likes coffee since the subject is third person singular number we don't write like we write likes okay c likes coffee and since it is v1 plus s okay likes v1 plus s so in that case while making turning into interrogative we should take the help of does we should take the help of does all right begin the sentence with does the rest will remain same does she then likes this s already have added with the do it was likes this s has already been added with the do and do become does so you no more write again likes instead of writing likes here right like does she like coffee okay then i'll put a question mark does she like coffee so this have got an idea of interrogative sentence and this statement okay or affirmative sentence or statement or assertive sentence or declarative sentence okay see when you say you like coffee you like coffee this is an assertive sentence what kind of sentence this is a statement okay statement or assertive sentence okay you like coffee this is an statement or assertive sentence an assertive sentence can be again affirmative and negative it can be affirmative or it can be negative suppose uh, i like coffee that is affirmative and if i say i don't like coffee then it is negative see so, i am a boy this is affirmative and if i say i am not a boy then it will be negative so an statement can be uh, affirmative and statement can be negative okay so i've gotten the idea regarding interrogative sentence so now let us proceed how to change interrogative sentence from active to passive well now let us learn how to change from active to passive that is in interrogative if a sentence is given in interrogative sentence we are learning the type one after that again we'll see the type two okay if we learn all together it will be collect Uh, it will be uh, it will create a confusion so let us first explore type one that is the sentence begin with uh, an inter uh, uh, an auxiliary verb okay now see do you like coffee question mark do you like coffee so whenever whenever you get such a sentence okay first of all uh, 
the rules all remain basic rule will remain same okay the basic rule will remain same seeing the question mark will know that it is an interrogative sentence and seeing that the sentence begin with an auxiliaries okay you have already learned that there are 24 auxiliaries in english that is am is are was where okay uh, can could shall should will would may might must there used to need to ought to do does did have has had there are 24 auxiliaries in english so now since the sentence begin with an auxiliary here do and seeing this do and seeing this question mark will know that it is an interrogative sentence okay now we have to convert so the rest all the rule will remain same so first of all what you have to do you have to find out the subject verb and object so let us find the subject verb object we know like is an action word so like is verb and see like is v1 okay it's v1 if it was liked l i k e d like then it would be v2 but it is now v1 because it is l i k e so it is v1 okay then we know subject the person or thing that is speak about in a sentence is called the subject so here we've got you since we are talking about you that's you is the subject and if you ask a question the verb like what do we like answer will get coffee so this coffee is the object direct object okay now we have already got the subject verb and object now what we have to do next we have to interchange the subject and object okay this object coffee will become new subject and this subject you will become new object in passive voice so let us do that while turning into passive it was active now you're turning into passive okay so coffee and we know you remain you see you if there is you in active passive it remain as you so there will be no change coffee you okay you okay now next what you have to do after doing this you have to put here by people we have to put here preposition okay by to wheat at so we'll put here by preposition okay coffee by you all right coffee by you so we have already covered the completed the first three rule okay we have already followed the first three rules the first rule is what uh, we have to uh, find out the subject verb object already you have find out the subject verb object and right after finding the subject verb object what you have to do second rule we uh, are to interchange the subject and object that also you have done and then you have to put a preposition right before the new object so it is a new object is you and before that we have already put uh, uh, placed the uh, preposition by so first three rule already you have completed now fourth rule is what we have to observe the tense of the sentence given in active so sentence do you like coffee see this verb is v1 and here do okay that is also present tense do did thou so if an interrogative sentence begins with m is r do does have has okay then it is present tense and if an interrogative sentence begins with was where and did and had was where did had then it is past tense and if an if an interrogative sentence begins with shall or will then it is future tense so since it begins with do so seeing that do you know it is present tense since it is present tense we will we have to write here present form of b verb okay present form of b verb we know am is r okay so again you have to choice whether am or whether is or r whether am or is or r that will rely on the that will rely on the subject since subject is coffee new subject is coffee and since coffee is third person singular number so it will not agree with m or r it will agree with is now since it is interrogative sentence so our passive also will remain since active voice it is in interrogative the passive voice also will remain interrogative and we know interrogative sentence we don't write the verb after the subject but we write the subject after the verb okay the verb does not follow the subject rather the subject follow the verb so first of all we'll write the verb so we'll write here 
uh, is sentence will start with is then we'll write coffee okay is coffee then after b verb body to write third from v3 so b1 is like v3 will become liked is coffee liked by you then we'll put here a question mark all right are getting me so let us take one more example in order to clear the concept so do you know me okay do you know me so seeing here question mark and seeing here the since the sentence begin with an auxiliary verb so we know that it is an interrogative sentence okay now first of all let us find the subject verb and object we know no know, knowing is an action so this is verb and verb is v1 now see you is the subject okay and me is the object so we have first three rule we have completed now now what you have to do you have to interchange the subject and object so this me will become new subject and you will become new object for passive for passive okay now second step what you have to do you have to put here preposition okay now see you have to put here preposition so rules of preposition i told you that while exploring the specific rule you will learn about the preposition also now see preposition See, there are some, we almost all the time we are keeping here, we are placing by preposition before the new object. But here you see, since our verb is no, and no is a such verb which is not followed by by preposition. Instead, by it takes preposition to. Okay, remember, point to be noted. No is a such verb which is not followed by by preposition but instead of by preposition it takes the preposition to so what will write uh, to you instead of by you we will write here to you okay now since this auxiliary verb is in present tense do so we'll write here present form of be verb okay and we know since it is interrogative sentence verb will not follow the subject but the subject will follow the verb so we'll begin the sentence with the verb so and be verb since it is present mood you have to be put a right present form of be verb and present form of be verb means what we got m is r so out of this m is r whether it will be uh, we'll put m or we'll put is or put r that will rely on the new subject and since our new subject is i that is first person singular number okay first person singular number so it will not agree with is or r it will agree with m so m okay m i okay then what we have to write v3 okay without v3 you cannot write passive so b1 will turn into v3 no new non no is the v1 new is v2 and non is the v3 so m i non to you then don't forget to put the question mark since our question do you know me is an active the sentence given in active is interrogative so sentence after transforming into passive also it should remain in interrogative mode okay it should remain in interrogative mode that is why there should be question mark and here also the sentence must start with auxiliary verb clear okay now let us take one more example say did he do the walk okay did he do the work okay same question did he do the work seeing here did 
Since the sentence begins with D, D is an auxiliary verb. Since the sentence begins with an auxiliary verb, and since there is question mark, we have learned that the given sentence is an interrogative sentence. Okay, and since there is no third form in this very sentence, so and there is no third form, no be verb in this very sentence, so this sentence is in active mood. We have to convert into passive. Okay, are getting me? Since there is no be verb and no third form, okay, in this very sentence, so this is not a passive voice, it is active voice. Since uh, you were no more in lower class, lower class student, they get question turned into active, turned into passive, but higher class student don't get question turned into active, turned into passive, you will get question in exam directly, change the voice, okay. That in that case, you have to first. Uh, detect out whether the given sentence is in active or it is in passive okay so how to find out whether a sentence is in active or passive so uh, most of the time what do you, what we do we search that whether by preposition is there or not but there are some sentences where you will not find by preposition you may, there may have two preposition there may have at preposition and there may have with preposition and in some passive voice in some sentence in passive voice the object and by preposition may not be mentioned so in that case you'll be in puzzle so what you have to do passive construction is what there must be be verb and the be verb must be followed by third from okay since there is no third from here so it is not passive it is in active that is the first thing we have to observe second thing now see since the sentence introduce okay with an auxiliary that is did did is an auxiliary and since there is a question mark at the end of the sentence so it is an interrogative sentence clear okay now race rule will be same so what you have to do first you have to inter find out the subject verb and object so you know do is the here uh, verb and that is b1 do is action word doing is an action word so do is the verb see same verb do it can be auxiliary it can be main verb okay here this first deed deed is auxiliary because it is helping helping the verb to to express it mood so this deed is called auxiliary but this second do is not auxiliary this is the main verb okay now see did he do the work so you've got the verb do since we are talking about he, so he is the subject, okay. Now then you have to find the object. In order to find the object, you have to put question the verb do as what? What did you do? Answer is the work. So this the work is the object, okay. We have already got subject, verb and object. Now after finding the subject, verb, object, next step, we have to interchange the subject and object. So let us bring the object in the subject place. That is the walk, the walk and he will go there and we know he will turn into him see if there is he in active he turn into him in passive so we'll write here him all right okay the work him then you know you have to put here preposition so i'll put here by preposition the work okay by him okay now next what you have to do see we have to observe the tense so in order in an interrogative sentence in an interrogative sentence in order to observe the tense we'll see the auxiliary auxiliary is in whether it is in present mood or past mood do if it is do it is in present if it is did it is past so since we have got here did so it is past mood and since it is in past tense we have to write past from a beaver and past from a beaver is what was and where so again you have to choice whether was or whether where whether was or where that will rely on the new subject and new subject is what the work that is third person singular number so it will agree with was so let, let us start the sentence with was was the walk then we have to write third from v3 so do will turn into done was the walk done by him then don't forget to put question mark if everything is correct and if you don't put the question mark it's english grammar okay for a silly mistake for a mistake of a full stop also your answer will be considered as wrong okay be careful so you have got a sentence did they invite you did they invite you the way i have shown you now if you have some any problem if you don't understand i'm showing you in one alternative process see 
someone asks you did they invite you suppose someone asks you did they invite you what will be your answer your answer will be yes they invited me or no they did not invite me out of these two any one will be your answer is it so did they invite you this is an interrogative sentence let us turn this sentence into affirmative sentence okay affirmative statement did they invite you so let us answer they invited me or they invited you okay so i'll write they actually did they invite you answer should be yes they invited me but we will not do like this here we will little change it all right they invited they invited you they invited you okay now let us change it this is very simple for us to change they invited you they is the subject invited is the verb now see you must see try to understand here it is what is there invite but what what have i written here i have not written here invite while writing i have written here invited why it becomes invited it was invite in the first sentence but while in the second sentence i have written here invited why because the auxiliary verb is in past tense did is past is it since the auxiliary is in past tense so this invite turn into invited they invited you okay now there will be no question mark here it will be full stop now it's very simple they is the subject invited is the verb you is the object all right now after getting subject verb object let us transform let us bring the you at the very beginning of the sentence okay bring you at the very beginning of the sentence and they will go there and it will become them if there is they see if there is they they become them in passive voice so they will become them and we'll put here by preposition so first three rule we have already completed now second step what you have to do fourth step what you have to do you have to observe the tense of the sentence given in active so they invited me that is v2 invited is v2 so it is in past tense since this is past tense we need here past form of be verb and past form of be verb is what was and where okay so since the you is second person plural or second person singular whatever may be you can be singular you can be plural but since here here in this very sentence it is singular okay so uh, second person we will write here where you you will not be agree with was so it will be agree with where you were okay then this be verb should be followed by third form so invited third form is invited v3 is also invited invite first v1 invited v2 and v3 also invited okay now you were invited by them okay you were invited by them is a jumping popping out so let me make it in same row okay invited by them you were invited by them but this passive this is now in passive but this is the passive form of this second sentence they invited you but our question was not they invited you our question was did they invite you okay the question we got, we have caught that is not they invited you our question was did they invite you so we have to change this one but we have changed they invited you and we have made it you were invited by them now since this is the they invite you it is in interrogative so make let us make this sentence also interrogative and when there is an auxiliary verb in a sentence so turning into interrogative is very simple what you have to do just pick up the auxiliary and write it at the very beginning of the sentence again then put the rest of the sentence that remains same and then put a question mark now see let us take out this where at the very beginning so where rest rest remains same where you invited by them then question mark see just i have taken out 
pick up the where I put the where at the very beginning then you remain as you invited remain as invited by remain as by them remain as them and just where to put a question mark clear okay now see this is the way if you have got any trouble to do directly so you can do like did they invite you the transformation into passive is where you invited by them I'll now see have you finished your work okay so we have got a sentence have you finished your work and you got change the voice question is change the voice and the sentence we got have you finished the work so first of all what we'll do see when you'll become expert so you no need to think anything it will become an involuntary action simply you will know okay no need to think anything just seeing have you finished the work the passive mood will just come into your mind simply what will be the passive mood you no need to think anything just as so in so when you exhale or inhale for inhaling and exhaling you no need to become uh, you no need to be uh, take any initiative okay exhaling and inhaling is going on spontaneously so when you become expert it needs practice okay it need only practice english too is such a subject how much you learn if you are not in touch for a longer period two three four five years if you don't remain in touch you may will forget a large portion okay but still then if someone has the basic okay like maths also it's like this if you have got the basic you, you may forget many things but you will able to recover it within no time again okay but you'll forget that's sure have you finished your work okay so first of all what you have to do since you are novice you have to go step by step now all of a sudden you will not get the answer have you finished your work so let us first see whether the given sentence question is change the voice so let first of all you have to we are to um, decide whether the given sentence is in active or it is in passive so what is the condition to be passive to be passive the condition is what there must be a b verb and b verb must be followed by v3 okay v3 is the lifeline of passive remember without v3 a passive voice can never be written okay now have you finished your work let's see whether there is any b verb here there is no b verb b verb means what m is r was where b been okay b was been m is r okay where these are called different forms of verb b let us see is there here m is r was where b been there is no b no b, nor b no m no was so that is there is no b verb so surely it is not passive and there is no v3 all v3 is there finish is there finish is v3 but though v3 is there there is no b verb so it is not passive well okay now since we know it is not passive now see whether it is a statement or interrogative or imperative sentence since there is question mark so it is not a statement or it is not an imperative sentence we know an imperative sentence and with a full stop an assertive sentence and with a full stop an exclamatory sentence and with an exclamation mark since there is interrog uh, mark of interrogation there is question mark so it is an interrogative sentence again since the sentence begin with an auxiliary have is also an auxiliary is it out of 24 auxiliaries have is also one since we have got here an auxiliary verb have and the sentence begins since the sentence begins introduces with an auxiliary so it is an interrogative all right this is the way how to think how to proceed on now next step what you do you have to find the subject verb and object we know finish finishing is an action so that is verb v and finished is v3 okay and now see since you are speaking about you so use the subject here okay now if you ask the question to the verb finished what have you finished we are getting the answer your walk 
since you since by putting our question to the verb finish as what we are getting the answer your work this your work is called uh, object direct object okay so you've got the subject you've got the verb you've got the object now after finding the subject verb and object next step what rest all the rule will remain same so let us do your work will become the new subject okay new subject in passive mode and you will become the you will become the new object new object okay in the passive sentence in the sentence in passive we are doing turning into passive okay okay then we know here we have to put a preposition so here it will come by preposition okay your work by you then here what you have to do we have to observe the tense of the sentence in active the sentence in active if you observe see auxiliary is have have is present if there is have or has then it is present if there is had then it is past since there is have finished so it is present perfect had finished it will become past perfect clear already you have learned while learning the um, uh, tense wise okay tense wise rules we know that if there is have or has in if there is have or has in uh, active voice in passive voice it will become have been or has been either have been or has been but whether have been or has been that will rely on the new subject all right now see since it is have we have to write either have been or has been <clears throat> now new subject is what your work that is third person singular number so it will not agree with have been it will agree with has been and since it is interrogative sentence okay the verb will not follow the subject but the subject will follow the verb so we have to write have you uh, we'll write here <coughs> has been has been your work has been your has been your work but, or you can write has your walk been okay has your walk been then we have to write v3 okay and finish is already v3 in present perfect tense also you need v3 in present perfect tense also you need v3 and passive also you need v3 so has your work been finished by you and don't forget to put the question mark at the end are you getting me see have you have you had your breakfast okay have you had your breakfast okay you is the subject here okay this had is verb here and your breakfast is the object here okay now see this first have it is auxiliary or helping verb okay this is helping verb helping verb but this second had you see that is not helping verb have means here taking okay here have means what taking or eating okay so when the very verb have okay have refers to taking something or processing something see i have a pan of a pan when say i have a pan that means i am the possessor of a pan in that case have is not in that case have is not a an auxiliary or helping verb in that case have is a main verb are you getting me when the very verb have or had refers to okay having something taking something eating something or processing something that time okay have will not be an uh, auxiliary or helping verb have will be the main verb so here this had is the verb 
हैव हैड अगेन हैड कैरिंग मी दिस हैव इज बी वन हैड इज बी टू एंड दिस हैड इज बी थ्री सिमिलरली हैज हैड अगेन हैड हैज इज बी वन हैड इज बी टू अगेन हैड इज बी थ्री एंड हियर दिस हैड इज बी थ्री हाउ डू यू नो बी थ्री नॉट बी टू बिकॉज इट इज प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस आफ्टर हैव वी डोंट राइट I have do the work we don't write or I have did the work we don't say what is it I have done the work okay I have did is not correct what you say I have done so here after have it will be third form all right object the breakfast will come here object that is the breakfast here will not write in capital letter because you know again we have to write the b verb so we'll write here the breakfast okay the breakfast then subject you will go in object place it will become new object you and here to put by preposition the breakfast by you then what you have to do next you have to observe the uh, auxiliary since have is there if there is have or has okay it turn into have been or has been Since it is have, we have to write either have been or has been. Now whether have been or has been, that will rely on the new subject. And new subject, the breakfast is third person singular number, so it will ah uh, agree with has been, not with have been. So, so what to write? Sorry, your breakfast is it? Your breakfast, not only breakfast. That is your break has your breakfast. then we have to write been because we know if there is has or have in active voice passive voice you have to write have been or has been so since there is have here it will come either have been or has been whether have been or has been that will rely on the new subject and new subject your breakfast it is third person singular number so we'll write has been has your breakfast been okay has your breakfast been then v3 will remain as v3 so had Had your breakfast been had by you, and then question mark. Are you getting me? Okay, now see. Are you listening to me? Okay, you got the sentence. Are you listening to me? And question change the voice. Okay, in order to change the voice, first of all, you should know the way that the given sentence is in active or it is in passive. Okay, so. let us observe the sentence and let us find out whether it is an active or passive so to find out whether it is an active or passive what should we do we should observe that whether there is a be verb or not and the be verb only be verb will not do there should be be verb and be verb must be followed by third form okay remember by third form b3 be verb plus b3 is must for a passive now see Are you listening to me? We are getting a ah, is the B verb, okay? A ah, is the B verb. Is it? You know, a m is r B verb. Was where these are B verbs. So we have got a B verb. And right after B verb, we see whether there is V three. Ah, there is no V three, so it is not passive, okay? It is in active, okay? Since it is an active, okay? So let us find out the subject, verb, and object. We are talking about you, so use the subject. Okay, listening is the verb. Listening is an action. Listening is an action, so listening is the verb. Okay, and if we ask a question to the verb listening, listening to whom? Listening to me. Okay, listening to me. So this me is the object. We got here subject. We got here verb. We got here. object so let us turn it into passive so in order to turn into passive first of all you will interchange okay so me when there is me in active voice in passive voice that turn into i see me will turn into i so this me will become i okay i you are turning into passive okay i Well, then this you subject will go to object place and it will become the new object in passive. So you will remain as you. 
Okay. Now see next what you do. Preposition. So it will come by preposition. And then we have to observe that auxiliary verb is in present or past. Okay. Since R, R is present tense. So the sentence R relationing to me is present continuous. And since the sentence is in present continuous sense, again you have to write here present form of be verb and present form of be verb am is are and since new subject is i it will not agree with is or are it will agree with am so let us write here am am i okay then what you have to do we free listen is the verb is it listen is the verb and since it is continuous tense so for what you have to write being am i being for this ing you have to write here being okay am i being listened to by you am i being listened to by you then don't forget to put a question mark all right okay so look at the next sentence are the children making noise are the children making noise let us find out the subject verb and object we know the children is the subject making is the verb noise is the object all right now you have to interchange will bring the noise at the subject place it will become new subject okay so noise okay the children will go into object place it will become the new object the children then you have to write here by preposition okay that must every one of you know then what you have to do you have to observe the be here sentence are the children since there is are so it is present tense are the children making noise that means present continuous tense since the sentence given in active voice is present continuous tense, so we'll write here present form of be verb and present form of be verb what you got am is are noise is third person singular number okay uncountable noun so it is always singular okay abstract noun noise is an abstract noun so it is uncountable so it is singular so third person singular noise so it will agree with is so you have to write is okay noise then since here ing is there so we have already learned present continuous tense how to change if doing being done making being made okay talking uh, what called taking being taken writing being written that is the way to write in or this is the way to transform a continuous tense so is noise then for this ing you will put here being okay so ing already have brought here being is it so what remaining here make and make chat from is what made so is noise being made by the children then don't forget to put the question mark is noise being made by the children all right Oh, see, will you do the walk? So it is whether it is an active or passive, it is inactive because there is no be verb C and there is no tag form. There is no be verb, there is no tag form, so it is inactive. So after getting it is an active, so now we have to find the subject verb object. You is the subject, we are talking about you. Do is the verb, and if you ask the question what? will i do what shall i do question will be the walk the walk is object all right you have got subject you've got verb you've got object now we have to interchange or bring the object into subject place so the work will come here the walk and you will go there you okay okay 
then you have to put by preposition so i'll put here by preposition it's very simple this must then you have to see since there is shall or will we know we have learned while changing while learning future indefinite tense we learned that if there is shall or will in active voice in passive voice it will become either shall be or will be and whether shall be or will be that will rely on the new subject okay since will so we have to write either shall be or will be followed by v3 okay now see new subject is what thou walk it is third person singular number since the new subject is third person singular number it will not agree with well, uh, it will not agree with shall, it will agree with it. We have already learned in the last video that only I shall, we shall, with first person singular and plural shall. I shall, we shall rest all will. Okay, now the work third person singular number, so it will agree with will. So, what will write here? Will the walk be then v3 that is done will the work be done by you and don't forget to put the question mark okay it's very simple now you may feel little come a little complicated but if you practice see how much you listen to listen to someone how much someone explain you you watch video you read book okay these things are you need practice until and unless you don't practice, you will never learn. Okay, until and unless you don't practice. How to practice means not, I'm not talking about to memorize. How to practice? What is the way to practice? Whenever you get a sentence, while you are talking, you are always using sentence. While reading something, you are using sentence. Okay, whenever you get a sentence, the way of practicing, not just only sitting and uh, sitting with pen and paper and doing that is not only the practice okay practice is what since you are newly learning these things so anywhere you get a sentence you try to get you find out in this very sentence what is the subject what is the verb what is the object in your mind hmm? while talking while playing while talking with other while just simply sitting think oh this sentence what is the subject what is the verb object is there be verb here if they third from oh no that means this sentence is inactive if you turn this sentence in passive what will become like this you should just think ourselves okay that is the way of learning huh? learning is a continuous process okay not for just sitting on the table or reading one hour two hour that will not be the learning okay you need practice and what to practice you should take some sentences and you should practice it yourself learning i'm not talking about the, the you, I'll give you the note and you'll memorize the notes. I'm not talking about ah, that kind of practice. Practice means you should try yourself. You may make mistake in a big, in, in a, okay? Initially, you may make mistake, but within couple of this, you, you, you're all, you'll become expert if you keep practicing, okay? Okay, now see. Can you solve this sum? So, we are now I think till now you have been your till now you have already learned how to find all these things okay can you solve this sum whether active or passive it is active because there is no b verb there is no third form that is passive then can you solve this sum let us find the subject verb object you is the subject solve is the verb this sum is the object now let us interchange so this sum and you okay then by okay this sum you and by okay so now next order to do we have to observe the tense so this is can so we know there is there is can in past active voice passive voice you have to write can be followed by third form if there is could we write could be followed by third form if there is should we are if there is should in active passive voice it becomes should be followed by third form Okay, if there is may in active voice, in passive voice may turn into may be followed by third form. So it is can, so it will become can be solved. Can you solve will turn into can be solved. So uh, this sum, okay, so can this sum be, well, you can write both way. Okay, if you want, you can write like this also, can be this sum, if you're getting puzzled. I am saying can should be followed by be verb so can be 
can be then we have to write a subject can be this sum can be this sum is the subject then v3 can be this sum uh, solved can be this sum solved by you that is also correct but we, I prefer not to write <coughs> like this okay I like to write like this can it look little decent little decent to our air so can this sum be solved by you getting me since can so can be okay and solve v3 solved and there we question mark well children with this i'm going to wind up this video since our video is getting longer and longer actually i was supposed to complete up uh, everything in this very single video but no way out okay so in this very video till now we have completed we have learned how to change an interrogative sentence that is started in auxiliary verb from active to passive as well as you've learned the rules of pronouns okay so in the next video we'll try to cover up that interrogative sentence that begins with wh question word as well as the quasi passive as well as the rules of preposition okay till then stay safe bye bye